One of my most requested videos is how do I brush Aslan? Uh, because of his curls, people are wondering how do you get him, how do you keep him clean? And I have my bucket of whatever right here. Um, these also contain my uh, hoof care stuff. But I usually just only use this. Um, you can see that it's used. But I'll see if I can do a more, more advanced brushing uh, moment with him right now. So I'm using a magic brush. And we'll just see how it goes. The only problem with the curls right now is that the sand comes right in my face. But other than that, you can see it gets off very easily. I'm gonna show your butt because you did your best on that. So this is pretty much how you brush a curly horse. I can uh, at the same time explain a little bit about uh, the way I do this with Aslan, with him standing here. Look at it. Um, because every time he takes a step, I will put him back. And this taught him to stand still in the way he is right now. I don't mind that he is <laughs> playing with that right now because it actually contains candies that will get out when you touch them. And he knows that. So of course he does that. But I don't want him to walk around all over the place. So every time he does do a little walk. Right now he's just getting the treats. And I'm fine with that because he's staying at the same place. But I would put him back. And in the begin beginning it might sound like a lot of work. And a lot of effort. And it is. But now I have this horse. I put them closer so you can reach them. The candies, the treats. But now I have a horse who just stands here. Because with the rope halter it's not recommended to um, really tie them down. Because it doesn't snap. Um, and like right now he's standing with his hoof in the rope. And I just let that happen. Because it also teaches him a lot. Like, how is he going to fix this? Because, of course, I could fix it for him. Uh, but this is also a part of body awareness. Like, he just pulled the rope looser and now he's still fine. Are you going to step back? So those are a few little things I do while brushing him. I'm going to do... This side too, even though you can see it, but then I still did it. If I would have tied him down, this would be a moment where he would have panicked. Because right now the whole rope is on the ground. And then he would have realized he was stuck. But now that I didn't really tie him down, he didn't get stuck. And he's still just relaxed. Standing still. And I don't mind that he's doing other things as well. Of course, I'm doing other things as well right now too. It's not like a mindful grooming session we're doing right now. Because I'm talking to the camera. So I don't mind that he's doing his own thing then too. With uh, looking for the treats that are right in front of him. So as you can see, just the magic brush is already doing a lot. And of course, I rarely ride Aslan. Um, so it's not that important that he really gets clean because of the saddle pad. Because there is some sand 
left here, but we can see how far we get with the hard brush. Good boy. So he's testing me a little now. Making one step. And then he kind of looked at me like, am I allowed to go here? And I think that he will stay here. Now I could see his weight shift to that again. So now I'm really putting him back just to make my point. I has to stay here. But I just put him here, put the camera on and that's it. I don't really have to explain to him anymore that I want him to stand still. I'm going to do it again. Good boy. So. No, no, no. So this was the moment he was waiting for. That's why he already did a few steps. He was like, okay, are you paying attention? Am I allowed to do this? The answer is no. Ah. So you could see his weight shift and I respond to that by saying you have to stay here or even step back again. So I'm just going to leave it with this. Of course, there's still sand in there, but that's with every uh, horse right now when they're in their winter coat. But yeah, this is how I brush my curvy horse. Thought I would also show you the feet because Aslan used to struggle with that a lot. Right now he's giving them to me, so that's great. And I actually trim his feet myself, so it's my own gain if I train it a lot but he knows a lot of tricks of course he's very smart so he would do anything and be very fast with um, getting his hoof out of your hand it's hard to even know he's doing it before he's doing it uh -uh. but I found my ways to be faster than him as well. We can cut a little piece off. Good boy. So, just a little piece of hoof. <laughs> Um, so that's your grooming routine of this curly horse. <laughs> if you want to see him more, then check out our other content. I give a lot of training, uh, inspiration, especially the kind that your horse will enjoy as well. Uh, so if you want to have fun with your horse as well, together, not just you, uh, then check out the rest of my content. Have a great day.